Firefox is one of the most widely used web browser and in this video I'm going to show you different uh, Firefox settings, tips, tricks, hacks and its features through which you can improve uh, your browsing experience. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first setting you, which you should change after installing the Firefox browser is to make it as your default browser. So if you want to do that, you need to go to the tools, options and then you will have this option of make it a default browser it will open the windows 10 settings from where you can select the firefox and then close the window now the firefox becomes the default browser and if you want to know that what version of firefox uh, you have installed and whether it is the updated or not you can go to the help and click about firefox here you will have the firefox version and below that you will have that your firefox is up to date if it is not up to date you will have a link from where you can update your browser the next thing which you should change is to change your home page and uh, in order to do that you need to go to the options and in the options you need to click home and from here uh, within the home page and your windows you can add the multiple pages uh, which you can add here as your home page or else if you want to select the current uh, window or uh, page web page which you have opened as if you want to select this as your home page you just need to click use current and now you can see that the my home page has changed from the google to bing there may be some times when you want to use your firefox browser uh, to view your offline uh, files and uh, for that there is an option of working offline uh, you can just click the file and click work offline and then you will be uh, your browser will be cut off from the internet and you can browse the uh, your uh, files available in your computer the next up is how to change the language of your browser uh, click tools go to the options and then click journal tab and in that you need to come to the language and appearances and uh, over here within the language you will have the current language displayed and if you want to add more languages you need to click this and add the additional languages like if I add in Arabic over here and from here you can choose the different languages for your browser so that's how you can change the language of your browser the next step is how to allow or block location access requested by the sites there are sites which request you to uh, allow them to access your locations if you don't want to do that you can go to the, your privacy and security settings and down below to the permissions here you will have this location option you need to click the settings and over here you will have all the websites which have already requested to access your location and if you don't want to allow any site you can just click that site and click this remove website and then press save changes so that's how you can block a site from accessing locations similarly you can allow them and if you want to completely block all the websites from asking uh, or sending you this request you can just click over here and then save changes and uh, talking of privacy and security the important thing is that once you're done with your browsing you would like to clear your cache access and history and if you want to do that go to the options click privacy and security you need to come down and in the history you there is an option of clear history you can just select that and then they give you an option to uh, select the time for which you want to delete the history so if in terms of uh, hours and then today or everything so let's say if i want to uh, delete a history of the last hour i will select that and from here i will select cache cookies browsing uh, i don't i don't want to um, clear the active login so i will just deselect that and then i will press clear now so now you know that how to clear your cache cookies and histories but if you just want don't want to save anything right from the on start of your browsing and you want to do a private browsing or you want to go in an incognito mode for that you need to come here click these uh, horizontal lines and click new private window and then you will have a private window and within this window whatever you will search or view it will not be saved uh, in your account so this is how you can uh, do the private browsing 
are incognito mode in Firefox. Next up is how to change the search engine within the Firefox. Uh, click tools, go to the options and then click search. And here you will have this default search engine option. From the drop down menu, you can select any of the given options. But if your desired search engine is somehow not in there in the drop down menu, all you can do that you can just come down and click find more search engines and the next page will be opened and from here you can add any of uh, the search engine of your in choice and then that search engine will be available in this list as well as in this drop down list and you can switch over to your uh, favorite search engine next up is how to disable the notifications within the firefox you need to uh, go to your um, options or settings click privacy and security and in that you need to go to the permissions uh, over here and in this there is an option of notifications you can change the settings of the notifications by clicking this and from here you can uh, add the websites uh, for which you want to block the notifications and if you have already added a particular site which whose uh, notifications are blocked you can allow them by selecting the uh, allow or block option from here and if you want uh, to block new request asking to allow notifications you can simply click this check marks save changes and the next time no website will ever be requesting you to allow notifications next up is how to enable the dark mode in firefox you need to stay in the settings and below over here you need to click the extensions and themes and in that you need to again click themes and in that here you will see right now the dark mode is or our dark theme is disabled you can click these horizontal three dots and click enable and then now you can see that my outer side of this uh, firefox uh, browser has changed from uh, light to a dark mode the next step is how to change the font within your firefox browser uh, stay in the settings and the journal tab and then come uh, over here in the language and appearance here you can select the default font its size and then colors so these are the different options uh, if you want to go into an advanced option so there are uh, advanced options also but for most of you you can simply change the font and its size from here and its color right now i have selected the text to gray and uh, background to white but if i select this to black and the this one to white and then if i ask him to apply always you will see that the everything will turn into black so this is the classical i would say a dark mode and if you want to install themes you can go to the extensions and themes and from here you can search for the themes or the themes are also available some of the themes are also available over here you can simply click install theme and that theme will be installed so that's how you can install a theme in firefox if you want to change the location where your files which you download through the firefox uh, will be saved you can do that by going into the general tab and then downloads here you can browse for a folder where you want your files to be saved folder and from that time onward all files will be saved in that folder however if you want firefox to every time remind you or ask you where you want to save the files you can just select this option and then you will have the option to save different files in different folders because whenever you will be downloading a file firefox will ask you where you want to save this file if you want to see the uh, saved password for various accounts which you have created online uh, and which are saved in your uh, firefox account you can go to the privacy and security settings and then you look for the login and passwords and then you need to click this saved logins here you will have the list of all the usernames but by default it will not show you the password you need to click this show password and it will warn you and from that time from here you can see the username website its username or an email address for which you have um, uh, saved or created the account and then your password 
and then it will also give you the date and the last date you changed uh, the firefox browser gives you the option to restore the previous session so that you can continue work from where you have left uh, you need to just go to the history in order to restore the previous session you just need to go to the history and then click restore previous session since we we just had uh, clear all the uh, search history cookies and caches so that's why right now it is disabled however for you it will be and you can should click this it will uh, open the uh, it will restore the last session and uh, talking of the restoration of a previous session if you have accidentally closed a tab and you want to uh, open the recently closed tab you can also do that by again going to the history and click recently closed tab and then you will have the option of all the tabs which were recently closed and you can select any of them and that tab will be reopened so this becomes very handy when uh, you were visiting a site for which you did not know the address and it has been accidentally uh, closed to improve your browsing experience you will need extensions and add-ons uh, in your browser firefox also has a large list of uh, add-ons and extensions so how to add uh, an extension or add-on within the firefox uh, for that you need to click the tools click add-ons and it will open um, this page from here you will search for your add-on like if i want to uh, add an add-on a downloader add-on i will just click download and search for that and it will open a list of all the download related uh, add-ons i'm just going to add this video downloader and i'll just press add to firefox click add and now that extension or add-on has been uh, added into your firefox browser the add-ons with the help of this video download helper add-on you can download the videos uh, from uh, any of the web page like i am now on an amazon website i'm seeing this product and there is a video on this uh, product on this web page so whenever there is a video over here you can just uh, click this video download helper icon which will be available on your toolbar and it will give you the option of the different resolutions of the videos which you can download you can just press this and then your video will be uh, downloaded and right now it is downloading this video uh, on the top you can see that there is a menu bar from where you can select the different menus but this menu bar may not be available once you download uh, the firefox you just need to do a right click on the uh, title bar and from the pop-up menu you need to click the menu bar and then you will have this menu bar available over here if you want to bookmark a web page all you need to do is you can just press the star and you will be able to uh, bookmark that page but this pop-up menu will open which will ask you that where you want to save this uh, bookmark uh, I am just going to select the bookmark menu and I'll press done and when I will go to the bookmarks as you can see that this Google page has been added in my bookmark so that's how you can add a bookmark uh, in your um, Firefox browser now speaking of the bookmarks uh, how do you sync um, or uh, back up your bookmarks uh, you need to uh, first of all sign in into the Firefox uh, for that you need to go to the sync and in the sync option there is a button for a sign in you need to give the email address you need to create an account and once that account is created you can sync I already have an account so I am just signing in to the Firefox it will ask you to confirm your email just click on the email you have received from the uh, Firefox and confirm sign okay now your Firefox is connected all you can do is that you can go to the options click sync and here you can see that the sync settings are there uh, you, you can sync the bookmarks you can sync your history add ons open tabs logins and options but if you don't want to uh, uh, sync everything you can just deselect everything and you can just keep your bookmarks uh, i would highly recommend that you keep the add-ons also because in this way you will not need to install the add-ons every time you install a firefox uh, in your this uh, existing computer or maybe on your new computer and then uh, the firefox will keep your uh, uh, everything sync but if you want to sync manually you can just go to the tools and press sync now and it will sync your bookmarks which you can retrieve later on while i have shown you that the firefox gives you an option to 
uh, see your saved logins uh, while it can be an extremely helpful for you but it can be a security hazard also and for the protection of that the firefox gives you an option to use a master password and for that you just need to click this use a master password and it tells you that the master password is uh, used to protect your sensitive information like site passwords if you create a master password you will be asked to enter it once per session when firefox retrieves and saves information protected by the passwords so you can just uh, enter the uh, new password here to enter and then uh, you will be asked uh, every time you will open a firefox to enter your uh, master password and then you will have the access to all the logged in accounts on different websites it, it can be extremely useful to protect your information or saved logins um, from the others just in case your computer or the laptop is being used by the other people also okay now the last thing i told you that if you want if you will watch the whole video i will show you how you can block the dangerous contents and how you can block the crypto miners and that again you need to uh, within the settings click the privacy and security and in the, the privacy and security browser privacy there is a content blocking option and within that you can click the custom and within the customs you can select the options of blocking the people here there is an option of crypto miners you can just click that and you can block uh, these people so that's how you can uh, block the crypto miners and if you want to block the dangerous content you need to uh, calm down and here in, in security there is an option of uh, selection to block dangerous contents and deceptive contents you can just click that and then from that time onward the firefox will ensure uh, to block you from going the sites which are potentially dangerous in this channel we bring uh, the tips, tricks, uh, hacks, and secret settings uh, of the different web, uh, of the different softwares and websites. So, if you are interested in the tech tutorials, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe this channel to watch more videos like this.